Hey YouTubers, I apologize for not posting any videos. I'm back to par and hopefully I will be posting more craft videos every couple of days or at least once a week, right? So we made some guitars. Aileen wanted a rainbow one. Shout out to my froggy stuff who taught me how to do these. They're very simple. So let, enough with the chit chat, let's get started. Acrylic paints, Elmer's glue, roll on the purple I like. Tattoos are optional. That's how I put them on Aileen's uh, e guitar. Water string, I used uh, this for my guitar strings, or you could use this. I used this one for the blue guitar. A little bit light. There you go. But, uh, you need some clippers, paper clips, pencil, scissors, adult supervision, um, little scrap papers for the pick guards and whatnot, black. You could pick any color you want. Cereal boxes, of course. And let's get started. So, you go to the internet where I went and got a perfect little matchup pattern for your guitars. And you do several of them. At least two of the long ones, then about four of your handles, and then about six of the bottom ones. See how I did different? Okay. And then you want to cut them all out. And then, see the boxes. have the patterns here that I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the Elmer's purple glue on it. Press one on there. Press it on. Go again. Gotta have at least about six of these, five to six. You can put one of your this one's a tall one. Either way, just glue it and it's gonna be okay. And these two you also need about four of them because if you don't your handle will, will not be sturdy. And glue that one. Let's glue another one to the back. Got two more. You're going to save the last whole piece for the top. So let's get another one on there. Hard. So that one's looking kind of kind of good there, thick. But I'm still gonna add the last one. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, all together. Oops, there goes my glue. Last one. Oh, wrong side. Hello. Just squeeze them because it takes no time at all for the glue to dry, the purple. I just love it. Elmer goes on purple, dries clear. I'm gonna press them together. They're 
not even because you're going to sand them. That's your next step after it's dry. Okay, and I got still have a handle left to go right on top of this one in the front. Okay, people, press that down. All right, so now you got the hang of it. And so I did my acoustic guitar and see I went ahead and painted it the outside of it and it's already smooth and sanded after you after you uh, that's what you do with your sandpaper you can get a sand file if you want to and sandpaper the edges so they be nice and smooth that's what gets that look there okay see how they're all uneven so once you use the sandpaper after it's dried a bit and there's your thing so on your acoustic when you're doing your acoustic you glue them the same way too make sure you do your handles enough because if not it'll be flimsy your circle that you cut out there on your pattern you need to do about three of them at least to get the little hole there and then you final one on top. Paint it, make sure you paint the inside of it. I got my paints here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting it here because I already did all the rest and papered it I don't know if this is going to dry in time might have to do a part two video if this one's going to be too long. Alright, so we've got the pat we've got the handle painted now. And it's always nice after you do your um, painting to use Mod Podge. You can get this at the dollar store and it just gives it that shiny shiny effect after you paint it so this is going to take a little bit to dry here so my next step with the guitar would after it dries is to put on your gold little pieces here on your handle which So which would be on my scrap paper and I just cut little pieces little pieces like this and those are your straps and they're easy I mean it's a little tedious, but you can get it done. Put it in back, glue, and they go right on your acoustic there, or even your electric. So after those are done, then you're going to want to, I got some silver metallic dollar at Walmart, and that's what I just do my little dots with there on the guitar little dots so 
pencil on me my guitar here I cut out that's why I use the um, contact paper and I will be putting this on the back of this one and then I have to cut this out and I'll use that there and then what I did to this one I just heard it was a little bit more paint black paint around it too I might leave it just lighter this color so once your bars are done and you're painting there you want to make six little holes at your handle here one two three the other side one two three and that's where you're going to put your strings and those you need your super glue uh, not super glue tacky glue you could use that's what I use so I use this string and what you want to do I've got them cut out here so I cut four strings and at the end end you want to tie a knot tied okay so you get four exactly like this and I really don't want to touch this because it's not dried yet but as you can see after you made punch your little four holes you can use a, a thumbtack or whatever to make little and then you're gonna glue one string there one on the next one six you need and one there one there and one there and wait till they dry wait till all of them dry on the top you have to wait and then that way you can get your strings straight once it's dried all the way down and When I put this, you cut out your little pick guard from the scrap paper black. You attach that too also with the purple. And let's do that right now. So I use the, the pattern, but I'm also going to just put an extra coat, even though it's sticky, an extra coat of Elmer's. Why? Because I love it and it will keep it that even there. Oh, not even. Ah, careful, the paint almost came off. All right, so then you're going to have your bottom of the guitar, and then cut your little, you need two at the bottom, so you're going to have that there, and as you see, once your strings are attached, bring them straight all the way down till they come there, and glue them to the bottom of the guitar there. And then you get another one to put that right on top. And I put the little silver for decoration for your strings to be on there. And then you can also paint again, like I said, the brown around the back if you want. These little things are beads, little tiny beads you can glue on there. And then of course you could use ribbon. You can use um a little leather strap so stay tuned and I will tell you how I made the little those are very simple to the guitar stands out of popsicle sticks 
So I hope you like this tutorial today. Any questions or anything, please let me know. Like and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, YouTubers.